Hi guys, welcome back to the Empty Notebook Podcast, Podcast. with Edith and Nelai. We are back for episode three this week. I can't believe it's already been three episodes. I know. It feels like we just started like yesterday. Yep. What? <laughs> three episodes I know. in. Can you believe that? No, literally, I cannot believe it. I feel like we started yesterday because, uh-huh. like, seriously, like, it just it flew by. I know. I, I honestly thought we were still on our first episode. Though. Also, another thing is that I wanted to invest in better microphones because you guys keep saying how the audio is I know. bad or how Nelly sounds too low and stuff. So I told myself, okay, we started it. We saw uh-huh. that, like, you guys actually really like it. Let's invest in, like, the the microphones I had told you about. Bruh, Christmas is coming up. The we r- can wait until after Christmas. Well, no, I was like, let's just do it now. Like, whatever, you know. Mm. It, it'll be an investment. But I didn't get to it this week. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Which mics are you trying to get? The road ones. The road ones? The, yeah. The, the expensive ones? Yeah. So it's like an $1,000 investment. Oh. But yeah, but like the audio will be a lot more crisp, I think. Yeah, hopefully. But it's just, y'all are just some haters. Because I don't really like screaming into the microphone. Ian loves doing that. I, okay, I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm trying not to scream. I'm trying to keep and I'm trying cool. to And I'm trying to scream. I scream all the time when I talk. I also talk with my hands, if you haven't noticed. Like, I'm always going like this. It's so funny because when I go get my lashes done, mm-hmm. I'll have like literally my eyes closed. And I'm always talking to Chantel. Like, we're teasing <laughs> me on the boat something. And I'll have my eyes closed. And I'm literally going like this, like it, like with my hands and stuff. One of the times uh-huh. I hit the light at the top and like started moving, <gasps> and I was like, "Ooh!" <laughs> I didn't bear it. Yeah, Ricardo always tells me, and then he tells me like that. My dad says that too, and I do like I always like talk with my hands. People were making fun of me for the biology episode, and I was talking with my hands. You're like her hands. The no, I was just like because you were. I was going like this. Something weird. I was going like this. But you don't talk with your hands. No, I don't. Yeah. It's just when I'm really interested about something, I go like this, like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I always talk with my hands, though. And why, did, why did you start the episode it, today, the foot? What do you mean? I always start the episodes. I started the first episode, the second episode. Do whatever you want, Excuse woman. Me? That was so rude, guys. I took that to heart, to be honest with you. Because I, I started it? Yes, the foot. Dude, okay. okay. Uh- first of all, I just want to make a quick disclaimer before anything if I look busted, like literally, <laughs> like if I look um, hungover or something like that, it's because I just woke up like literally 20 minutes ago from a nap because we went to an event this morning and had to wake up at 5 a.m. Huh? Nelly, 5 a.m. Bruh, I woke up all late today. What time? Like 9. Oh. I usually wake up at, like, at 6. Yeah. That's a big difference. I was so tired, but okay, so I woke up like at 4, right? And then I went back to sleep. Oh, that was the best nap of That's my the best life. when you wake up and then you realize you don't have to go to school or you don't have to go to work or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I can go right back to sleep. I know. But for my schedule, I don't wake up at 5 a.m. 5 mm-hmm. Like, I've been waking up at 8 a.m. Yeah. 7.40 ish, 8 a.m. Today, I had to wake up. I woke up, I'm not gonna lie, 5.40. Because I put my alarm at 5.30 and then I was like, snooze this hoe. 5.40. <laughs> got up, but it was freaking freezing this morning. And I was Girl, like, have you never gotten up early in the morning? No, inside my home. Oh. Yeah, like... Your house is always cold. It's because so we cold. have the windows open. Why Rick- do you Ricardo have- always leaves them open. Why did you always leave them open, Ricardo? <laughs> he swears it's hot. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, I was freezing. And so when we got back home from the event, uh-huh. I, we laid down to watch a show and I knocked out. Oh, I didn't knock out like fast because mm-hmm. I was like, okay, Nelly and I have to film the podcast. But then you never called me or anything. So I was like, okay, like, let me let me take no, a little nap. I wanted to go shower and I wanted to get a Starbucks and I was like, I'll let it sleep because my mom was like, she's probably going to be asleep. Just yeah. Let her, let her sleep. So I, yeah, because I told my mom. And so... I woke up like 20 minutes ago. So, I, like, I didn't even touch my makeup. Like, I was sleeping. And so, like, right here, there's a little bit of black. You know how when you sleep with your makeup? That's what I'm saying. I look hungover. Because I have, like, black right here. And then, like, my gloss, everything Not was me, gone. Not me, guys. I today, I actually gloss. did my makeup. I love the way you did your makeup today. I literally, like, I think it's the first time that... Root- it Hater! looks camera ready. Camera oh. ready. Remember what I told you about the yes. camera ready? I always like your makeup. But I think I extra like it this time. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly so... You know what? I, well, you know how we're going to talk about, like hormones stuff like that today i'm so glad i wasn't one of those girls that got like super acne because i don't i feel like me personally i'm not hating on no one but i couldn't get up every day and do foundation every day it's funny because i didn't have acne on my face until high school stop don't don't wish that yeah i started getting um like acne like on my cheeks in probably like sophomore year but it's like gone now on your foundation now yeah, I do have foundation. Wait, without it, you don't have a bad. I don't anymore. have. You used to have really bad scars. 
yeah it, i had really bad thankfully my skin like regenerated uh-huh. really well and i don't really have scars on my face at all yeah. but i went through a phase in high school where it was really bad and then i did a lot of different things eventually something worked and it went away and then in college it came back Ooh. And I was doing so many things to try to fix it, and then it didn't go away. We're not sponsored, but sponsors, Curology. Oh, Curology, bro, saved my life. I was getting hella pimples. Where it was it? Was like right here, and oh. I and you gave me Curology, and it fixed it. And it wasn't even like the, the it wasn't the like the treatment. Yeah, it was you, the you face gave me wash. no, you gave. Oh, that's the face wash. Yeah, <gasps> well, the blue bro, one, right? Yeah, it was like it was a moisturizer and mm-hmm. then the, like a squeeze bottle. Yeah, it was that wasn't even the treatment. The treatment comes in a white bottle and <gasps> it comes like tailored to you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, for real, like sponsors already curology. Please, curology. Me. For, I mean, a lot of things work for different people. That yeah. worked for me. I had already tried like so many different things from Target. I would get like twenty, thirty dollar creams, which at the time that was so fucking yeah. expensive for it, me. Still, it's still oh, oh yeah a li- for me it's a little bit easier now to go mm-hmm. to the store and buy like a 30 dollar thing or whatever yeah. but at the time dude i was making like no money and going to the store and even buying a five dollar thing i was like oh this is like money yeah so i was trying so uh-huh. many things and nothing was working but then i tried curology and then it literally fixed my acne and since then it hasn't came back so i'm so happy i know that's good the only big problem for me are my under eyes your eye bags my eye bags yeah like, that's all I put on concealer, and I do my brows and mascara, but, like, I you, always... I do honestly mascara. don't think your eye bags are bad, but the thing is, you when, you have really an insec- when you have an insecurity, you, like, really, really, like, look into it. You know what I mean? Like, you always are like, ugh, this, ugh. And after, yeah. like, I started getting comments about it, that's when it really got to me. You, I was people like, comment about it? Yes. Not on my vlogs, not really, but, like, in person. Oh, like, in people person? Say, well, they call me, like, a skeleton. Like People you, like, have no fucking filter, dude. Out. Which that like kind of like goes with like the and it's stuff like that your friends that they say it. I'm like, bruh, there's no need for that. that. Oh, cool. I feel. I mean, high school. I feel like a lot of people just say things sometimes mm-hmm. to look cool. Yeah. Because also, like, I don't want to like make an excuse as like, oh, like, don't listen to what your friends are saying because uh-huh. that can be a toxic trait. And it's like, why keep friends that do that kind of stuff? Like yeah. chinga quedito. You know what I mean? Like the you know what that means? Chinga quedito. Chinga quedito. Chinga quedito. It's a Spanish thing for saying like. Like, when Mexican tias or whatever, they'll be like, ooh, like, se te mira mas pancita, mija. Oh, like that. that? Like, oh, how they're that. trying to make it look or make it seem like if it's not much, but, like, they really mean like it. Like, what Erika posted, the thing where it was like, um, hold on. It wasn't a bad thing, but it was like, I agreed with it. Hold on. Let me find it. Bitch. Un segundo. But, it's, it's anyways, story. yeah, I feel like in high school, it's, like, maybe it's not as much chinga carito, but it's, like, maybe if the... Like, for example, it's you and somebody else, and then um, that friend has, an, uh, like, a guy friend in the group, and they want to, like, look cool in front of them, and they'll say something stupid to you just, like, to put you down and then make boost their ego type thing. Mm, yeah. It could be that, but also, I just, in general, like, I feel like since high school, I realized that I dealt or, like, put up with so much shit People from friends. Like Dude, yes, about me, about r- r- my relationship with Ricardo. Oh, you like, told me about that, how yeah, they didn't like him. And, like, yeah, and at the time, I felt like they were looking out for me, but at the same time, like, now, looking back, I, it was not cool, like, at all, because I was in a relationship with him, and I would tell them, like, oh, no, this, and then they'd be like, nah, like, fuck him, and shit like that. So, and think, at first, I think it was my fault, because I would say, you know, what would go on in my relationship. Not everything, but, like, oh, like, oh, like, he made me mad or whatever, you know? I feel like for that, you need to not tell your friends the bad stuff. You, tell, yes. you should need to tell them the, only the good stuff. A hundred percent. I don't think you should tell your friends or anybody in that matter, like, anything that goes on in your relationship. Yeah, because I feel like that's just going to give them the bad look and it's like, oh, bad, bad, bad. Because you don't have nothing Because you will make up with your partner. Uh-huh. You know, you guys will forgive each other or whatever. And they won't or it like was them. just like something small and then they will keep a grudge. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why I feel like you shouldn't talk bad about your partner with anybody. Okay, but let me tell you what Erika was... She posted, las, bro- las bromas sobre el físico de alguien no dan risa, causan inseguridades. Yeah. And that's like... It's so chinga true. quedito, basically. Yeah. I no. don't even know that's what it was called, bro. Um... It could be like also like when somebody tries to be funny, but like, ha, just kidding. That's kind of chingadito. Like, it's no like chingadito, you know? Yeah. Or like just saying small things. But yeah, that is freaking not cool. And 
now that I'm older and like, dude, I swear, like in the first podcast, I was like, I am like so grown and stuff. But like, just genuinely, I just feel like I've matured so much since then where I see these things now. And I'm like, that was not freaking cool. Like, you can't have like those kinds of people in your life. And in high school, Nelly, you'll be like, oh, like they're my friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. But when you grow up, you you realize it. You mature. I know. There's a lot of, there's been a lot of my friends that like, I've seen their true side and I'm like, I yeah. Like, I, like, man, I've, like, pushed myself away from them. Like, I'm, like, well, there's no problems. So it's just, like, I'm not comfortable around You don't them. have to, you don't have to, like, not talk to them. It's just, like, you know, the lejitos mejor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that. Yeah. So, like, that's why I've been come closer to, like, my soccer friends. Because, like, they're not about the drama. They're, like, they play with you. They're friends with you. You're their teammates. And, yes, there can be drama with your teammates. I'm not going to say there is a lot of drama on the team. I'm fortunately me i'm not in the drama i'm gonna stay out of it um but they're like my friends they they're from middle school and from elementary school and like i've been on the soccer team at school with them forever what drama is there for the soccer team they're just spill I'm, bitch no girl because they watch my videos they're gonna get is it like, like boy drama yeah and then there's drama about like people like <gasps> like gameplay not gameplay. gameplay. Not gameplay at all? No. For the soccer team and some Well, because the season has started. Oh. Yeah. And there, they said there wasn't drama about that. It was mostly drama outside of soccer. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, bruh, how you going to have a drama with your team? Oh, my gosh. That freaking yeah. sucks with anything. Like, you know, like, just, like, work and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Whenever you have beef with coworkers just because of, like, some dumb shit. Yeah. And it just makes the atm- atmosphere toxic AF. Anyways, um... We kind of went a little bit into the topic, like the girl talk topic that we wanted to talk about today. But before we deep dive into it, um, how was your week? What did you do this week? week? Okay, my week. What what was Monday? Monday? (laughs) Girl, Girl, do you not know the days of your week? What did I do Monday? I don't really know. What did I do? I I feel like sometimes I also am like, what did I do Monday? I feel like this week just passed by. It flew by. I feel like... It was my mom's birthday. No, it was Tuesday. Yeah, Yeah, but Monday was... I went and bought my first MicroCore's wallet. On Tuesday? Yeah, on Monday. On Monday. I went that night. And then the next day, I went. It was my mom's birthday. We went in the morning to McDonald's. Go watch my vlog. I haven't posted mine. Girl, you haven't? No, I already posted mine. I have a couple more to post. And then that. we, um, we put, I put where we, like, opened the gifts. We went to Calaveras. That shit was expensive. It was good, too, though. It was really good. But I just feel like it wasn't worth the amount of money we paid. It was like a luxury kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's like. Or no, no, it's you know what? No, never mind. It wasn't really luxury. You know what it gave me vibes? It gave me like club vibes. I feel like it's older people. It's for older people, right? Well, like. Like if you're going to be drinking and stuff. Yeah, like, you yeah. know, like 21 plus type thing. Yeah. But the food, like the food was like plated really nicely yes, and everything. and it tasted good. I, and it, it tasted, tasted good. It like authentic Mexican food. Like, it's not Authent- like, I wouldn't say authentic. Yeah. But it tasted good or whatever, but like the the setup of like the chairs and everything, it, it kind of gave me like, you know, normal restaurant vibes. Yeah. But like the lights, the music, like all that stuff. In the t- table? Yes, because you're in a car that looks squished. And I was go. perfectly really? fine. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, I was perfectly okay, fine. You don't have this whole elbow in my food like this. <laughs> But I was like, that day, dude, I felt so good. Like, it was the first day I got ready since, like... Bro, she looked so good. And I was just in jeans and a shirt. I was like, bro. I put on a dress that day for my mom's birthday. Um, Because I wanted to take pictures of my mom, which I didn't even end up doing. Because you were hurrying us. We were about to take the picture. Ricardo had the light outside and everything. And then you were like, what are you guys doing? Let's go. Which, by the way... You guys better appreciate the fact that I just didn't scream because I was about to scream. Because my ears, like, cannot stand this. I'm trying to keep it cool. Please watch the podcast with earbuds in. Because anyway, it will actually hear it if I'm whispering. But maybe watch yourself read it. I'm trying. I'm trying not to, like, do any spikes this next podcast. <laughs> Bro, last podcast, I remember me and Ricardo looked at each other like, because you had, like, this big ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, Yeah. Uh, I, I, I felt really, really good that day, mm-hmm. um, mentally and also just like physically. It was like the first day I got ready and, um, I was, I've been super sore. Even that day I was super sore. Like even sitting down in the chair, like, I was like, oh, today's like the first day, dude, that I don't feel that sore because I didn't go to the gym yesterday, uh-huh. but, um, why did you go? Because we filmed a Vlogmas video and I didn't have time, but I'm going to go Keep tomorrow. Keep that up and your little schedule is going to go boom. No, no, no. It was, well, I worked out four out of the five days and I was just generally super tired. So I was like, my body also needs rest because you yeah. can't recover. We only practiced four out of the five days. Um, so I told Ricardo that we could go um, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we're going to go to Big Bear. So we'll probably There's go hiking no or something. No me invitan. 
No, so you good. are a teenager. You go to so school. You tomorrow? I don't have to. Well, no. This is Thanksgiving break. <gasps> you do have Thanksgiving break this week. This whole week, I'm going to be so busy. I'm going to kill myself. What are you going to do this week? Okay, Monday, I'm going to go to the mall with Cristela, my cousin, um, because she's coming over here to stay with her sister. Mm-hmm. And then... So that's um, what you're doing Monday, you're going to the mall? Yes, but I have soccer, too. Soccer, 10 to 12. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the... <laughs> then I'm going to go to the mall. And then Tuesday, I believe I'm going to go to Disney, or the Disney walkway with my mom to go buy her, like, a couple... Down on Disney? Yeah. TFTA? We're going to invite you. But you're always fucking bad. No, she We're said... We're supposed to go today. Exactly. But someone she... liked to... Well, because I was like, dude, it's so freaking, like, late already. She yeah, there's called a hella traffic, bro. She called me super late. She's like, okay, let's go just, like, right now. And I was like, okay, first of all, I'm tired. Second of all, we have to film the podcast. And third of all, there's no time. Yeah, um, she wanted to go downtown Disney and, like, do some of her birthday money for me. Because I was going to do a shopping spree with my mom. Because mm-hmm. I gave her, like, $700, mm-hmm. $800. And, um, so I'm gonna, like, take a little shopping spree and do a video on that. But let me tell you what happened this week. What happened? I wanted to kill myself. Okay, like so, th- um, th- on Friday, I got my jersey right. Mm-hmm. But then, <laughs> I get home, and I lay down in my bed, and I don't know how, how I talked about it, how I had a black, TMI, 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 how I had a black toner. I don't even know what, from what, like. You hadn't talked about this. I had it? Had you? I don't no, remember. I don't think... Okay, but I had a, a TMI, but I have a black toner. I had a black toner. <laughs> Not anymore? It fell off, girl? <laughs> girl, let me see. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I had a black you have, toe now. You so have dogs know. for real yes, now. Oh, oh my god. Spike. Sorry about that. I had <laughs> the weird card on the face he did at you. Um, but I don't even know from my, my mom's like, how do you not remember? It would have been a really hard hit, but honestly I can't tell you what it was from, like from the bottom of my heart. Maybe She's lying. I said She doesn't bro, want she doesn't on. want my I mom said, I told to my, realize it was from soccer I told and her, then be like, Soccer's bad yeah. for you because you have injuries all the time. No. And bruh, it would it didn't even hurt and I'm guessing it was cause someone stepped on me. That's what I told her. She's I said, guessing. I doubt How do you get your toenail to be black and fall off and you don't know from what? I didn't what? even notice it was black because it was white. It was painted white. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't hurt. But anyways, let me finish. I get home and I lay down in my bed and then I push my feet out and it got to, it got stuck on my blanket and it, it went... And it was a lot? No, it was like half on. I had to rip it off. My did it hurt though? It yes. The the last part the la- hurt. But at the beginning when it just like... Yeah, it, it was already lifting. I yeah. taped it down. <laughs> that happened to me too. Remember how I told yes. you? It's so fucking ugly, bro. Wait, you, don't ha- you have like zero toenails? No, I have like... It was already growing back. But a little bit. Okay. Can I see it? No, fuck no. I want to see it. No. Why not? I didn't you know. I literally had to build so much courage up to show my mom. Not Why cause, not? Because I was embarrassed. This has happened to me too. No, I just. Was, I'm not gonna show you on camera. Okay, but just show me real quick, and you'll no! see my reaction. Why not? Come on, dude. It's so ugly. But, Ricardo, can, uh, can you flip the camera? And I'm gonna show you. Can't see. Okay. You can't see the bottom. Okay. 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 Bro, it's so Let's ugly. See. That's how much is gonna Let look. me see. Yeah, that's how mine looked. Uh, <laughs> look like your finger? Oh, because oh, Ricardo hard. smashed his finger, that too. Sucks. You can't even hide your finger. I know, yeah. that Dude, that's how mine looked. And it took me... I remember how I told you, it took me like a year and a half for it to grow all the way back. It was... Oh, thankfully, you? dude, mine didn't happen in high school. Mine happened... I think it was I middle like, school dude, or like, like late. five quinceaneras coming up. Dude, what are you going to do? I'm going to do the thing where you put a bandit and you paint. <laughs> are you really? That's yes. ghetto as fuck. Or what if I do a gel X? Oh, I'm allergic. Bitch, what the fuck are you going to put a nail? There's a nail. It's actually right back. Like a stub. So. You can't um, glue oh, a gel X so nail to, to fucking skin. I said I can't. It might be a little dangerous. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Literally, you have so many injuries from soccer Probably already. No. What, what you had hella bruises on your legs. That was because I fell. And from soccer. The oh, bruh. It was a bit. That was my only big bruise I've had from soccer. But you just started, and you already have all these injuries. So are you gonna quit this year? No, fuck no. When are you gonna quit? I'm actually passing, passing my most of my classes. It's a passing grade. It's a passing. Dude, grade. I thought it was so funny that was it yesterday. Yes, my mom was like, I know what you guys are talking about. I was like, yeah, cause what did you say? We were you talking about? I was like, shut up. I went to my mom's. To, my mom made um flautas yesterday, right? So she invited me. We went over. It was the day before. Oh, it was the day before yesterday, and we were there. And literally, it was as soon as we got there. Nelly was like, said something. I don't remember. What, how did they come up, Nelly? Oh, cause I said I have to do my test. Oh. Yeah, and then he was, like, he was like, I know I seen that grade from Robinson. Oh. And my mom was there, and then you, she was like, like. 
to not say anything. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, whatever. And, I was like, and Nelly tried to change the subject. She said, oh yeah, we're talking about how we're gonna film the podcast this Saturday. And then she's like, no, no estaban hablando de eso. Yo sé que estaban, que estaban diciendo or something like that. And Nelly was like, <laughs> bro, it's because she almost read me out. Because my mom doesn't know English, by the way, if you guys yeah. didn't already know. But she does. Like, like she, she low key know. does. Yeah. My dad knows more than her, though. No, my mom, my, my, da- my dad my knows English. My dad's accent is so much better. Like, you can't really hear his accent anymore. Sometimes. Like, if he actually talks to you in English, you're like, what the fuck? This did not sound like my dad. Sorry, oh. are we allowed to cut that out? Mm, let's try not to. I don't want to get demonetized. I, on my part, I... But we you, can, just not too much. Yeah, but do you know how they make you do, like, a survey for... They've always mind? done that. No, I never got the survey where Girl, like, you're a newbie for YouTube. Well, they... Well, I guess they just started yeah, doing it started compared doing to it. before because we've been doing it. Well, I've been doing it for about a year already. Really? Yeah. I just started doing it like a month ago where no. it tells you like how much cussing you have mm-hmm. to put abbreviated. I, that's what I always put because I always have like a couple cussing. Things. But yeah, you want to move on? Oh, I didn't even talk about my week. Yeah, Is that your week? Do you have any, oh. any more oh, crusty no. dogs out there? Crusty dogs? Stop! <laughs> Now my friends can make fun of me. I'm always making fun of my friend's dogs because she's always changing her socks. Dude, practice. I've heard so many people that play soccer that their dogs are literally completely destroyed. My, my so coach, just prepare yeah. for them to be destroyed. My coach, she was telling me, she was like, oh yeah, I don't have both my toenails right now. I was like... <laughs> was like <laughs> dude, soccer players... Dude, if you're a soccer player, um, just tell them to pull out the toes. Stop. I, you know Santi? Santi posted a TikTok and he was like, me ready... Oh, you see? <laughs> his dogs yes oh! i have no and then he posted a tiktok where it was like um me realizing that my girlfriend's gonna have to see my ugly soccer toes and he was like having a girlfriend ain't gonna work man dude i feel like every soccer player is like that huh I actually i, I had a friend in high school that was a soccer player her toe but okay. my toes weren't that bad until no her toes actually were not bad at all i remember my she toes themselves player. are not bad it's just that one yeah girl. it's just that one now i yeah. guess but it'll grow but back in a year everyone. Ricardo. Whoa! Wait, yours never fell off though. Did your toe ever fall off? It never did. Never. My toe fell off, but not from sports, just because I was being a dumbass. Imagine stepped on by a fucking metal cleat. I can't. You're not from metal cleat. I know, but I'm saying. What was it? A uh, um a, a weight? weight. What the? Oh, oh weight room. Dumbass freshman dropped a weight of forty five on my toe. Ouch. And you didn't say nothing. No, I just walked out. I never joined the football team again. Oh. I know it was Ricardo was like. Because he had been a football player for freshman year, and then sophomore year, I believe he didn't. You didn't do it, right? Sophomore year, I didn't do it. And senior? And then senior year, that's when the coaches wanted him back. They are like, do it, do it, do it. And you did do it? He started, he went that day. He went that day. No, I think it was during school. But anyways, he went one day, and then that happened, and he was like, nope. So he didn't do it. I was low-key happy. Mm, as he should. Because football, I feel like, is way dangerous. And I, inside my psychology ca- class, I remember we would, like, do a lot of, like, research about the brain and stuff like that. And we talked about football players' brains and how, do they literally, like, a 40-year-old's brain is in a CAT scan or a... What's, what's the one that, like... It's a CAT scan. CAT scan. Or MRI. Uh, no, or MRI. MRI. Whatever it is, um, they literally look like super, like, 80-year-old men. Because they're mm. so, like... They have so much trauma in their brain. It's so bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it really worth, like, the money? I feel like it, it, You think it's worth the money, boss? You think so, baby? <laughs> you would do it, really? You would, like... Someone sh- gives me a 125 million contract for three years. You were like, shortening your lifespan. Well, but first of all, you don't really know how many years you're actually going to live. So it's like, maybe you're going to live 30 years, even if you play football or not. So, like, make five that are good right i, I guess know. looking at it that way i guess but also like what if your lifespan is like 90 years and then you oh, cut it short to 40 years yeah like but you never know too so it's like yolo yeah, yeah. that's what i honestly think that you should live in the moment yeah and not think not 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 think about your future like think about your future and money wise if you're thinking about future 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 how long am i gonna live you're not gonna ever get anywhere because you're thinking about Oh, if I do this, oh my god, I my fuck up my future. Yeah, and like you know, I don't know. That, I think what I just said right now is because I'm not a, like a football fanatic. You know, it's like yeah. whatever. Like, why would somebody ruin their future for football? But it's because I don't get it. Yeah. It's because I don't love football. I don't even know how football works. Do you like any sports? Like love sports? Oh, you. I don't love sports. Really, oh, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't really even watch sports at all. But I. We've never watched sports. We only watched boxing. That was it. Canelo. Yeah, with my 
Yeah, I guess. But I've never been, like, a super, like, hardcore fan. But I would understand, like, for Ricardo, like, how he just said that. Because he loves it so much, he would be willing you to do You love football, Paul? You like it? Well, he loves sports in general. He's, general. like, the complete Because Ricardo's literally, a sp- like, he's naturally athletic. He I is. I want to be, like, Paul And you know real. what I saw on TikTok literally, like, two, three days ago? Somebody saying, when you have kids from the age of, like, three to, like, seven, um, put them in gymnastics, no matter what. Gymnastics. gymnastics. And then after that... Do what all the sports do all the sports from seven to like twelve, and then after that, let them pick. Gymnastics gives you like the basic, I guess, don't freaking fall skills. What is it that yeah. called? Balance? balance and stuff like that. Well, I wish my mom gave me balance because that's like one of the worst things about me. I'm I don't super have clumsy. No balance. I'm super clumsy too. But um, and then after you like get to see a lot of the different sports you like, yeah. and then after when you're a little bit older, you get to pick whatever you yeah. like. That's what the person was saying, and I, it's hard for me to adapt to those kinds of things because you know how like. Well, what, growing up, my parents didn't really, like, ever let us do sports, yeah. like, outside of school. And then when I did want to do them in high school, they let me. But I didn't have that much of a passion anymore. I think I was too old to develop that serious passion that kids develop when they do travel ball like Ricardo from, like, three years old. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I've always wanted to do soccer. Like, remember elementary school? I I love soccer. Then I didn't get to do it because of COVID. And then I barely started playing again eighth grade year. I think for me it was like I always saw people like play. I for me it was softball. I was I always wanted, wanted to play softball. softball. I feel like softball is so scary. With my parents, we would always play kickball, and like we would go to the baseball fields and stuff like that. And I thought that mm-hmm. was cool, and I always liked playing it. But when we went to high school, and I wanted to try out for the team. Dude, everybody there had been done soft- softball since they were fucking babies. So they were like pros. And I had no idea. Like, I had no fucking balance. I had no idea how to catch a ball. Like, all these things. So it was, like, super intimidating. And I never ended up doing it. So then I did track. So all you need to do is literally, bitch, run, you know? <laughs> like, the worst you can do is fall. Which, by the way, I did. Oh, my gosh. On my first day of on my first day of track practice, Nelly, we had to do hurdles. And you I... You had to do that? Yep. Fuck no, I would fall I f- and eat shit. I f- ate shit on the hurdles. And it, this... What was my mom's reaction to that, bro? What? You eating shit and coming home. You weren't scratched up? It was on the turf. Still. The hurdles, the hurdles were on the turf, and I had leggings on, so I think I oh, just yeah, like scratched myself on. a little bit. But it wasn't, it wasn't a major injury. It was mostly the fact that we were. It's because it was kind of like drills, how like everybody do hurdles back to back to back to back, and then you go around and then do like push up or whatever. It was that kind of thing. So it was like I fall. There's somebody behind me like waiting, like bitch, get the fuck up and finish your hurdles because I need to go too. It was that kind of thing, so it was embarrassing. But I, I don't think I was the sports person because I didn't do it since I was like little. I think that's what it was, but I, I would want my kids to do it. I, it's taken a lot of growth in me to say that. Yeah, because I remember she was like, I fucking will never have my kids in sports. It's so dangerous. Yeah. I, I want to have my kids in sports. Because I, I, was... I feel like we never got the opportunity and I saw that per- point, of, point of view where I always wanted to be in sports, but my mom was like, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like it does take, like you were never like super passionate about it. Like you were like, mom, can I please, please, please. Like, you were passionate, but I Well, super... growing up, for me, it was, like, it was not an option. It was 100% yeah. not an option. So, maybe for you, it was a little bit more option and stuff. But for me, it was, like, not a freaking option at yeah. all. Um, I remember one time my mom signed me up for soccer, and my dad literally told my mom, like, no. Where? In school. They had a, a little Shit. soccer team. And I really wanted to do it, and the day came, and my dad was like, no. So, like I'm saying, it was not an option for me to, like, do it. I feel like it's always been my dad that didn't like the sport. Yeah, he didn't like the schedule, I think. That's what it was, mostly. I think it's rubbed off on my mom now. Like, she wants to put me out of this. Because, (laughs) Nelly, there is so much, you have so much opportunity. Like, I genuinely see No, it's not because of the YouTube thing. She just doesn't want to take me every Sunday. Oh, Sundays, yeah. yeah. Because it's annoying, Yeah, to be fair. But, yeah. What was he saying? that um oh my kids i would want now i would want my kids to do a sport and i think it's because of ricardo and also like i went to go see emily ricardo's little sister oh. play baseball and it was super cute and all but the reason why i've always kind of been hesitant about it is because of injuries like your injuries and stuff i look at you and i'm like dude like do you not see the injuries but i also like i see it the other way and it's like dude if you really like this Live in the moment, you know? Yeah. Fuck the injuries. Like, an injury will last you a couple of days or a couple of weeks. But then you'll have those memories forever. Ricardo always looks back at his, like, travel ball days when he had baseball. And he loves that. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I want my kids to have that, too. 
Yeah. I feel like a lot a big part. Why are we talking about sports? We literally this was not even talking. Oh my but gosh, Let me yeah. t- let me finish it. I feel like more most of the sports industries now are like money, money, money. That's yeah. what my friends have told me about like their clubs. They're like, yeah, like I've had to drop. I had to drop out of my club because it's like so much money and this and that. It's not even about the time. It's about the money because it's like they're requiring so much money for like. It's definitely very um, like it costs a lot of money. That was another thing for my parents too. It costs mm-hmm. a lot of money. Like travel, uh, spirit packs and traveling and all that stuff. It costs a lot of money. You have to have the money, and if you don't, you snooze, you lose. Yeah. You can't go to the tournament and all that stuff. That's why when people say that money doesn't bring you happiness, I'm like, girl, it kind of does sometimes. Yeah. No, I think for me, but I feel like you also need that love. Like, it's like, okay, what's this? This big question: Would you take being a millionaire and having? not like you have friends and family but you don't have a boyfriend i know what you're gonna say what would you choose i would 100 percent choose the love the family the you know that connection like without even thinking about it but like also when you have that love and the connection stuff like that all you want is to have the money yeah so it's like it's a hard thing to decide obviously like if you told me right now i would choose the love all that yeah. stuff but i can have both yeah i would love to have both i would love to have both i'm a really like a super like family oriented person when it comes to like well you guys you know why haven't you had a kid yet then we want a kid girl how the fuck is that family oriented when when i have a baby which by the way dude we posted the video right so you know how last week we did the podcast Uh and i told you the story we posted the video everybody in the fucking comments was congratulating us Girl, like, if you actually watched, like, a minute of that video, you would have seen how I literally said in the video that we had to go get another. Congratulated? Because people didn't finish watching the video. And even, like, on my TikTok, I posted a TikTok yesterday. And, um... (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Okay, I blew my cover. You know how earlier I was, like, now I'm talking too loud. Let me get a little bit farther away. But I posted a TikTok yesterday. And people were literally saying, congratulations on your pregnancy, Edith. I was like, dude, if you would have just watched a minute of that video, two minutes. Dude, I feel like the gym takes up, like, all my day because I'll go. And then you come home tired. That's, that's the thing. That's what my mom always tells me about soccer. Oh, soccer. But it's like, I, get, I, I practice this entire meal unless we do conditioning. Time, conditioning got me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, okay, so my, my schedule. Let me I'll give you all my schedule. <coughs> Excuse me. I wake up at 7.40, then get ready, eat breakfast, all that stuff, drive to the gym, and then my trainer... You sesh, eat before the gym? I have to, yeah. You don't throw up? Well, the first time I went, the, the, um, I was, like, dizzy and stuff. She was like, I told you to eat, and I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, it's because I thought I was going to throw up. And she was like, okay, just go light right now. She was like, in, like, two, three weeks, you're going to wake up hungry. And, bitch, I wake up hungry. <laughs> I can never... Bro. But, yeah, I do that, and then my gym, my trainer, like, my session, when I go to the gym with my personal trainer it starts at 10 a.m so and then i get out at 11 and so then after that every single freaking day that we, we well i go with the personal trainer after that we'll do something we'll go to the store or we'll it's something and then you'll be home extra and tired. so then i get home like at let's say two so half the day is gone if i have to edit or something like i'll edit for like two three hours and i'm already like tired and then after like we'll do like it's any small thing and the day is freaking gone and i'm just tired in general and the worst part of it all is that i've been sore that's the, the part that that part oh yes oh that too that, that, that was, that's been that's... killing me dude like i get home from soccer it's nighttime dude i and i'm like what time is it it's been mm-hmm. since. <laughs> i hate it so bad dude literally the sun sets like at 4 p.m it does it's fucking normal. i be at soccer and then like i my practice ends at five right like 4 50 right and it's already going nighttime and i'm like oh my gosh dude i forgot that's, that's what it was it's six yeah it's six and it's fully pitch black we've done recently is well for one working out not together all the time like me going to the personal yeah, I trainer like i want to be able to work out with well I when i do go work out with him on the days i don't go with the trainer i like it i think i, I go with one of my friends yeah like going with somebody in general like dude the last time i went i was doing this um i was doing like the whatever i was going like this this motion right and then i got so mad at ricardo because he was on his phone we had just posted a video so he was like looking through comments and stuff like that and i don't blame him blame him for that but i had a guy that was like directly in front of me 
an old guy directly in front of me. So I was doing this motion, girl. I was doing this motion, like looking straight ahead. You know how when you concentrate, you're like, <sighs> right? And so then this guy was just staring at me like this, staring, staring at me. And then I was like, and like I, I thought he was gonna look away for, and he didn't, dude. He was just staring at me, and I was like. And he and I was like I kind of panicked a little bit because then I looked at Ricardo and Ricardo was just on his phone like this, and I was like, mm, mm, mm. and he was like he obviously knew if I said babe or something he was like right in front of me he was gonna know I was like telling him something so then I, I like I pretended like I was done and I was like babe and then he was like what and I was like why are you on your phone like I got so mad at him because I just got like super like like a burst of like anxiety I guess and then he was like well I'm sorry I'm sorry and then I was like that the fucking guy right there was like literally just straight at me and you're just on your phone and, and he's like i'm sorry i didn't know it. but it was so freaking nerve-wracking and now i understand why girls don't like going to the gym by themselves because i go to the gym Were with a car anything like that bitch just leggings and no, long sleeve. not even shorts no and i was I showing my stomach shirt. and my long cuts and everything it was an old man too i was like dude what the fuck but yeah i understand why girls like don't because for me i've never really had to go through that type of stuff because i've been with ricardo for a long time and whenever i do anything i go with him so guys kind of respect you like they won't usually like because like pause is like not like one of those like skinny like he looks buff yeah like he's gonna fuck you up yeah he's like what's up <laughs> <laughs> like don't fuck with my woman yeah but yeah it's always been like super well, good. I, I guess I've had I haven't had it bad at all because I go out with him. So then people, I guess, won't catcall or like say that the end. Like none of us have exposed. Say that the end. Un poquito us. más. No, but I've never talked about this before. But when we went to Cabo, oh yeah, you told when me when we went to Cabo for the girls' trip, Nelly. Well, you know about this, yeah, but you told me. when we went to Cabo with the girls' trip, it was my first time ever like doing. A, anything you know in general by myself well not by myself like without a man and only no man in my life <laughs> no but it was so freaking scary because dude there was cat calling left and fucking right in Kabul everywhere and when we went zip lining the guys were like taking advantage of the girls and like touching and they never touched me but the other girls I was with they did and so I 100% know because there was other couples like there was other couples that were ziplining with us but they had gone in front of us they were with their the girls were with their boyfriends or husbands or whatever and that they I'm 100% sure they didn't experience that but because we were the only girls that didn't have boyfriends you know significant others with us se aprovecharon and because I've never really been in that relationship I had um, I mean in that situation before it had never happened to me before because I had been to gobble with Ricardo for our honeymoon and that didn't happen we had gone on excursions like that and that didn't happen but it was hombres like when you're alone they try to take advantage of you I feel like I'd cry bro I'm too sensitive I, I, I wouldn't say anything but I just start crying dude it's so bad and I ugh, I can't like imagine like what people go through because I didn't go through it but my friends were going through it and I I felt like so fucking scared and it was in the middle of nowhere we were hiking in like the woods so it's like if the guys would have wanted to do something they would they could have yeah well they did but like not more than that you know that's fucking scary it, i i feared for my life when i was there there was a one instance when we went to palm springs what happened the hotel about the guys. <laughs> what we in the that wasn't palm springs that was bakersfield yeah. what yeah. Well, I feel like I got a, we got a little bit of privilege because the guy was low key flirting with me, huh, babe? I think so. He was flirting with me in front of Ricardo. What the did fuck? he think we were siblings, babe? Do you maybe think he was? No, because then he came up to me and told me that. Remember? Told you what? Like, how, how can you get a girl? Like <gasps> oh my god! Okay, so did I tell was, you about like, this? Really no. Like, okay, so straight. when we were okay when we went to Jessica and Richard's wedding, remember we went uh -huh. to Bakersfield? Girl, you never told. You're fake as hell. You never. Dude, do you? Oh, okay, whatever. We went to the wedding and we were staying in the hotel in Bakersfield. We only had the hotel booked for like two nights, and the first night we had gotten there, taken advantage of the hot tub a little bit, left, and then the next day we went to the wedding. Oh, it was because of the security. Yes, oh. yes. So <laughs> then we came back from the wedding, and then we're like, okay, like we have a little bit of time to get in the hot tub. Let's freaking scramble, put on your swimsuits, and let's go into the hot tub because I think it closed like ten 
or 11 something like that so we were like even if it's just 20 minutes like the hot tub will just be there for 10 20 minutes so we go and as soon as we're walking in the security guard goes oh we're closing soon but if you guys want uh, no they weren't closing yet he was like if you guys want he's like you guys can come in but if you guys want um after we close and i put the chemicals in i can go get you guys in your whole in your room from your room and we're like wait we can do that and he was like yeah he was like what's your room number so i told him and so then like 20 minutes later he or 30 minutes later because i think the chemicals were supposed to be in there for a little bit he comes to get us from he knocks in our hotel room and he goes like do you guys still want to get in the hot tub and they were like yeah fuck yeah so he like escorts us to the private like area because it's like gated off you can't you can't get in like after hours and so we were there by ourselves i think he had somebody else in there as well right like a lady or something but like we were in the hot tub by ourselves after hours and he was there and he brought us hot cheetos and everything and he had a crush on you for real he he was like loki staring at me for a little bit but it wasn't like something like super super like you know like weirdo like fucking the what happened at the gym no but it was Uh it was a little bit uncomfortable because you know when you when you can tell somebody like loki likes you and you're like it's the most embarrassing thing it's yeah it's like uh so it was a little bit uncomfortable it was a little bit uncomfortable yeah and so he brought us towels that that was the first thing he brought us towels and like i I got you guys fresh towels okay and then after he brought us hot cheetos and so then we were like oh okay we're getting that special treatment like this was not a resort like you know a crush on pause (sighs) oh no okay because after what happened was that he asked ricardo who's like hey is she your girl Right, he said that it's your girl, and then he was like, "Yeah," and then he was like, "Oh, it's because I'm gonna ask you how did you how, what did he how did how did you land like that beauty or something like that how like did you that was the most backhanded like, ba- basically saying like how did he get such a pretty girl type thing, and like I guess you could say that was like a good compliment, but it feels like it you backhanded? feel embarrassed no oh. like when somebody's like talking to your husband saying like how did you get that good like he's basically saying you're good looking to you to your husband it, it felt weird it was like what the fuck but yeah we got that special treatment in that whole it was like a regular ass hotel though like it wasn't like a resort you know how resort or oh, you've never been to a resort like the ones so i'm sorry we broke in 20 no 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 because no. when we've been to like um the hotels in like cabo cancun and stuff like that they do they literally treat you like you're a princess like they give you that good treatment i've never been to a hotel here that does that but it felt in that moment that hotel in bakersfield felt like it because he gave us after hour treatments he brought us hot cheetos he brought us fresh towels and he was just like nice but it felt uncomfortable for sure i would i don't know what i would do in that situation i would take advantage of that situation i would no i i couldn't i could not i was just like trying to turn around i didn't want to talk to him it felt uncomfortable girl do we even have girl chat th- today? No, we didn't. Just a little talk. bit. Just talk. Just talk. I, I like it though. Like, Future talk. We could talk. I about I that. feel like it's good to have like some a backup and stuff. But like if we naturally start talking about other things, I don't think it's bad. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, because I feel like if you force a talk, it's not. A talk. Yes, it's not. It's not as organic. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Um. So we were supposed to talk about like, um periods and like girls talk you know stuff like that about periods I'm you sorry. do you i hate it like if i my boyfriend i would never tell my boyfriend about <gasps> period. Fuck no me. way okay well, I, I, think, think it's I think that now that you said that we we now have to talk about the mm-hmm. reasons why not not talk about your period oh, okay. but like the reasons why you feel like that and stuff but this podcast has been long enough so definitely we have to keep it for the next time and we've been saying we're gonna do this girl talk for weeks and stuff we can do it next week but we will definitely do it next week with better microphones hopefully we have the better setup thank you for bearing with us with the audio for three podcasts yes microphone because yeah we have the bad mics but (laughs) um so far this has been such a great journey but yeah that's today's podcast i do like how it was a little bit like more organic though yeah i actually was talking a little bit more yeah i'm i'm so hungry let's Let's go go eat eat. (laughs) jinx Uh young soda i don't even like soda like that though sorry we're not gonna start another conversation i don't yeah i mean (laughs) i don't like sugar i don't really like sugar like i only like lemonade i won't go to a store and be like give me a coke wait what do you want to eat what do you want to eat boy look Nah. I'd be down for some Pollo Loco. What are you down for? Well, pause, what are you down for? Maybe. No? I, we just ate Pollo Okay, Loco. so what are you down for? 
give us an idea. Come on. Oh, I want Gulichi Town Sushi. I'll pay. Whoa. We can do another mukbang. For my channel. You want Gulichi Town Sushi? I don't want to do another video. Oh, sushi twice already. What the fuck? TFTI? What? What do you mean to... Okay, hold on. Let's end this in the middle. We're not even... Rec oh, we're still recording? I thought yeah, we stopped recording. Sorry. When did you say bye? Bye, guys. Thank Hate you guys it. so much for watching today's podcast. And bearing with everything, the technical difficulties in the RAN team, but... We will do better. We promise. Shake on it. We'll do better. Yes. How do you guys like oh, my lashes? You should climb me as fuck. Girls, you're <laughs> Do you guys like my lashes? Should I wear Nelly, my lashes? Nelly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we will work on our podcast. And we won't get distracted as much. And I won't procrastinate as much on the shorts. You better not. The reels. I mean, the TikToks. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next podcast. Bye. Bye.